In this video I set out to show you the Mini VNA and Tenor Analyzer and to show you my aerial setup as of May 2011. Because I've waffled on so much I'm going to have to split this video into two parts so in the second parts I'll also include some details of my homemade grid dip meter. Hi, my name's Andy and I uh, just wanted to show you this uh, mini VNA uh, vector network analyzer. Um, a very useful device uh, if like me you love playing with aerials. Uh, I've made grid dip meters uh, in the past and that's what I've always used, a homemade grid dip meter. Um, but with this thing it gives you a lot of information and it's very very quick and takes out any guesswork. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll show you this on the uh, on the computer. First thing you should do before connecting the device is make sure that you discharge the antenna. Um, these two uh, coaxes are connected to the 80 meter and 20 meter dipole out there. Proceed. Uh, do make sure that you uh, discharge. Sorry about that, only kidding, but I got this new software that I wanted to play with. Um, do make sure that you discharge the, uh, the area before you connect it to the, the electronics. Um, in a, a sandstorm, I've been able to light up a uh, neon screwdriver off uh, a long wire aerial. So you can get quite a lot of voltage developed uh, on there when uh, you know, it's not connected to anything and uh, a bit of rain will also put a charge on the uh, on the cable. Uh, this is my aerial setup. I've got uh, two aerials, uh, an 80 meter inverted V and a 20 meter inverted V. Both supported on the same mast and the 80 meter dipole has a homemade Balam transformer in that tube at the top and the 20 meter dipole has uh, an ugly ballon and that's got about 20 foot of coax and that's the loop at the bottom and uh, they both uh, come down to the same anchorage um, that's about six inches of material like perspex it's actually called macrolon but a, a plastic material and uh, that's just holding up the end of the 20 meter uh, wire. The aerial runs east-west. Uh, the eastern end is about six foot off the ground. At the other end, that's the 80 meter section of it, runs down to uh, about six foot off the ground. I'll show you the other end in a minute. And the uh, westerly and uh, to my embarrassment uh, runs down into the bushes and uh, is over there. Despite the modest height of the 20 meter antenna uh, I've been able to work into Australia quite comfortably uh, on a single sideband uh, with this setup. I'm very pleased with it. So this is the Mini VNA. Um, wonderful little tool. If you've never used uh, one of these or something like it, you don't know what you're missing. It really is quick and easy. And um, you know, when you're chopping inches off the end of an antenna, uh, you get an instant result. You can anticipate what you're going to be doing. Uh, two input uh, uh, options, uh, but uh, for um, checking your SWR you'd use the uh, device under test uh, input, but you can also look at uh, resonance circuits, um, there's all sorts of things you can do. Look on the internet and you'll see uh, what people are doing. 
I'm not sure uh, how clear this is going to be on uh, YouTube so I'll try and talk you through it. Uh, the software that I'm running uh, gives me quite a few options and if I go to modes up here and click on that uh, I've got uh, antenna, cable loss, uh, cable length, transmission and generator and then uh, here I've got uh, bands uh, uh, predefined and that's uh, 160 to 10 meters or well, the frequency range is 0.1 megahertz to 180 megahertz and then it's uh, going down the list uh, 160 meters, 80 meters, 60, 40, 30, 20, 17 etc down to 2 meters um, and uh, various trace options and configuration. As I say, I'm, I'm not setting out to show everything, it's just to give you uh, an idea. Um, so along the bottom is uh, frequency and then uh, the item that we're measuring and we can measure uh, SWR, standing wave ratio, the uh, impedance, um, reflected loss, uh, phase and the uh, series uh, um, reactive components and we can set the uh, uh, the thickness of the trace we'll have it on a thick trace I've got the 80 meter antenna connected to the mini VNA and uh, when I select the 80 meter band here when I do there'll be a single trace um, there the device has swept through the frequency and it's gone from 3.4 megahertz to 3.9 megahertz this is showing the uh, standing wave ratio the SWR I can click here and it's telling me the frequency in SWR if I click there it brings it onto the screen and that says at 3 0.694 megahertz I've got an SWR of 1.29 and that's the uh, dip down there and if you can see these two markers there and there I have control over these with the left and right hand mouse buttons as I say this is frequency across the bottom this is SWR up and down here that is 1.5 so if I put a mark where the SWR crosses 1.5 if I click on there and then if I click on the or right click on the uh, SWR where it crosses 1.5 again there now I can zoom in so if I go up to here and I click uh, there now that has opened out the screen and you can see this is SWR of uh, 1.5 or less now from uh, 3.649 megahertz to 3.57 megahertz uh, that's the 80 meter dipole running with a homemade ballon we can look at the uh, impedance of the antenna and uh, that line there sorry I, I clicked on this up here I don't know if it shows up on uh, YouTube uh, and this uh, this trace is showing uh, the impedance what I can also show you is if I go uh, now I'm clicking on 160 to 10 meters so this is let's just get rid of the impedance there uh, this is showing uh, the SWR over the entire frequency range of uh, 1 megahertz to 30 megahertz and on my 80 meter dipole I actually get a bigger dip at 11.7 uh, .7 megahertz uh, than I do in the 80 meter range I think that is uh, a, a bit of a characteristic of the um, little uh, ballon transformer that I've got in there I'll switch over to the 20 meter antenna now. Okay, I've now coupled the 20 meter antenna. So we'll go here and we'll look at uh, 20 meters. It'll do its trace. And uh, 
that's saying that at 14.66 I've got an uh, SWR of 1.34 and uh, you can see again that's the, the dip down there.